I have a new album called Tall Texas Tales. Um, I moved to Texas, uh, Austin, two and a half years ago. There's a stretch of open highway called I-35. Takes you straight to Dallas if you manage to survive. The small town state troopers who drive that interstate clocking 18 wheelers and checking them for weight. Hurricanes at the Gulf Coast, part of Galveston disappeared. T shirts saying, Keep Austin weird. Moving to Texas, it's just a, it's a different world. It's like going to the it's tours of Europe that I do each year. Uh, different dialect, different, uh, different food, different uh, interstate driving habits are different. The people's uh, social habits are really different, and uh, and I, I just had to figure out, kind of get a fix on what was going on. I'm still working on that, but it's just not like any place else in in the world, much less in America. Texas is an only child, a real lone star. You can be her friend, no matter who you are. The Alamo still stands, her river's running wild. The great state of Texas is an only child. Only child. This new record is sort of my observations about Texas life. It's called Tall Texas Tales. Got songs like Texas is an Only Child, Luke and Bach, um, uh, Turquoise Heart with a West Texas Moon. Most of the songs have a, have a Texas theme. Lone Star Independence, alive and well today. Life is bigger here, just like people say. The sound of the Negro turn young boys into men. Longhorns on the goal line of Texas A&M. Willie's on his tour bus, rolling up a joint. He could get his hair cut, <laughs> but what would be the point? A faded red bandana, a beat-up old guitar, singing Whiskey River while Kinky smokes cigars. I, that's my favorite song off the record, is uh, Texas is Only Child. Because it's got this slow, smoldering Texas blues groove. Texas is an only child, a real lone star. But you can be her friend, no matter who you are. The Alamo still stands, her river running wild. Great state of Texas is an only child. Grown Up People is the first song on the record. And uh, interestingly, as I had just said, which may not come in sequence here, but uh, this song has nothing to do with Texas. You know that internet dating thing you hear so much about? Um, this was a song written for a woman who was gonna, who I had met on the internet and who was gonna, let's say, come visit me. And I thought that it might be sweet and thoughtful of me, generous and kind, to write her a song. So when she got there, I'd have something t to talk about. Two people in a room who don't know each other Don't know what it's like to be alone together Of champagne coming down outside in an early summer rain. Conversation about stuff that matters. <laughs> hey, honey, here's a song I wrote about you. And it's actually it's turned into a song that I think maybe I may have said to more than one woman that I wrote it about her. So, grown up people getting old. Looking back on days when things are plain and simple, we're grown up people. In my mind, when I was writing it, it's about these two people who get together for the first time and they kind of over the course of the evening figure out what 
what they're about and what they're doing there. Well, when I played this for my producer, Stephen Doster, he loved it, but he loved it because it reminded him of two people who had been together for years and who were grown up and they had maybe grown up together as a couple, but they they may have be living together under the same roof but living separate lives. We're grown up people. I know about that. Mushroom Cloud Lil, in my song, is the daughter of uh, Robert Oppenheimer, who invented the atom bomb. Why I wrote about that, I, I don't remember that, and I don't get stoned anymore, so it's getting older and maybe I'm losing some. Maybe I've lost a lot of brain cells. Mushroom Cloud Lil had a real big affection for chrome-bladed pistols and crimes of passion. Her wild reputation was way too dark to mention. Her flame through her temper got everyone's attention. Living in Los Alamos back in 1945, no one expected Lily to survive. Fascinating story. In my song, she uh, she kills somebody and goes to jail, and uh, she she's the big bomb in her dad's life, rather than the bomb that he invented, the atom bomb. And so after the song, I I googled her, and it turns out um, that she did lead a very lonely life because not only did Oppenheimer cheat on his wife but his wife cheated on him so so she was neglected and in my song she was a she found herself at her at her own left to her own devices and got in trouble well in real life she was left to her own devices and wound up trying to commit suicide outside of Oppenheimer's um, beach home and on some island Oppenheimer's daughter was a real atom bomb Just like any killer She was cool and calm His project Manhattan Was like a love affair When Lily needed daddy No, he was never there All of which resulted In a big space fill In the life of his daughter Mushroom cloud lil. Mushroom cloud lil. The deal on getting in touch with me in the event that there were, if you owed me money, remembered that you were a long lost girlfriend or, or, or my mom possibly that uh, is still trying to get in touch with me. Uh, I'm at bobchevers.com. I live in Austin, Texas. Uh, I'm probably in the phone book there. I mean, you can Google anybody now in life and find me. So um, it'd be nice to hear from you. Great state of Texas.